This is how narcissists lie to cover their tracks. I appreciate you watching this, and I hope you do too. Narcissists often try to make up for their wrongdoing, but it isn't usually in the traditional sense of paying the price. The term making up refers to the narcissistic practice of reconciling or resolving a quarrel with the intention of returning the relationship to its condition before the issue. Most of this is to be expected, given the narcissist's tendency toward harmful antics. This is one reason why it's so challenging to have a conversation with these people. Narcissists are not capable of regret. They won't say sorry unless they absolutely have to. Even if they do, it's all in good fun. They prefer to blame others or external events rather than take ownership of their actions. Today, we'll look at at least three strategies that help narcissists avoid taking responsibility for their actions. They still won't apologize despite the obviousness of their guilt. They've decided to do this instead. First, if there is no one else to blame, a narcissist would rather not be reminded of their faults. They want to create a climate where the past is forgotten. They aren't interested in hearing about it if you bring it up outside of this specific discussion. Narcissists have a hard time processing criticism, especially self-criticism, because it focuses on their flaws and shortcomings. Your concern for them will be reciprocated if you act as if nothing has happened. Second, narcissists have a few prerequisites for a successful reconciliation or makeup session. They frequently employ the tactic of extending the game to their advantage. It makes no difference whether the narcissist is a loved one, friend, acquaintance, co-worker, or romantic interest. The narcissist may give you some space to avoid making amends or addressing the issue after they realize they've insulted you. To avoid rehashing old tensions, they may avoid engaging with you in any way they can whenever they run into you again. After some time had passed, they would approach you once more, this time bearing gifts and a friendly grin, as if nothing had ever happened. It is the narcissist's hope that their plan will succeed and that the resulting increase in your attraction to them will be striking. If you act like nothing occurred, you might give it another shot. If you choose to implement their strategy though, you will inevitably find yourself in a vicious loop. A narcissist will always resort to the same strategies. Now they're trying to convince you that things will improve if you take their hand again. But after a few months, you'll see that they're back to their old ways. And if you bring up their past actions, again and again, the narcissist will accuse you of being negative and continue dwelling on the past. They might try to make you feel like it's a weakness to bring up the past. Likewise, you must move forward with your life and concentrate on the here and now when interacting with them. As I have mentioned before, narcissists are held to an arbitrary and unfair double standard. They are unwilling to acknowledge their wrongdoing or offer an apology. However, if you're actually at fault, they'll point the finger right at you. They'd be pleased to inflict guilt on you until you admitted responsibility for your supposed wrongdoings, which were never your fault to begin with. We can't continue to turn a blind eye to their hypocrisy. Therefore, the narcissist will allow you plenty of room to maneuver so that you won't feel compelled to confront them about their bad behavior. On the other hand, the narcissist may act as if they accept your claims while, in reality, they do not. The person may give the impression that they are listening and interested in what you have to say, but this is all in an effort to gain your confidence and gain their attention. Due to these and other factors, the narcissist may give up and admit guilt in the end. On the other hand, the narcissist never has and never will. They always said things without any intention of following through. The narcissist sees no wrongdoing in his or her behavior. They claim that they are innocent of the accusation and that they are seeking to take the blame for something that is not their fault. This means they can't offer an explanation and might be willing to apologize for anything. They say, Oak, I'm sorry, rather than admitting fault and offering an apology for their behavior. A narcissist is constantly on the search for plausible excuses to avoid taking personal responsibility. To maintain the appearance of sanity, they are always devising new excuses to dodge accountability for their behavior. Everyone just wants to choose a simple path. Thirdly, narcissists frequently resort to seduction 
when they are unable to reach an agreement on their own terms. The narcissist would rather avoid the problem than work on it with their spouse and would prefer to distract themselves with cheap chat or even physical intercourse. They are masters at using their instruments to play with people's sentiments. The narcissist will argue that they deserve your forgiveness and friendship in order to win it back. They aim to break your resolve and deflate your spirit. By becoming close to their victims, they want to convince them that they are truly sorry for what they have done and that everything will go back to normal once they have slept with them. Please don't be fooled. This is only a distraction from the real issue. Yes, they're being really nice right now, but can you trust them after all their fibs? None of them are interested in discussing where they went wrong. Avoiding addressing the real issues at hand, they opt for a kiss and make up approach instead. They are satisfied with broad characterizations of the problem and superficial solutions. Narcissists have a hard time accepting responsibility for their actions and often feel an apology is unnecessary. Only by acting as though the issue is nothing more than a misunderstanding can the two sides find common ground and make peace. Our goal is to confront the narcissist with the reality of their own delusions. We must no longer afford to give them another opportunity to threaten our safety. Please accept my sincere gratitude for listening to this brief explanation. Feel free to leave your thoughts and experiences on this topic in the comments section. If you want to be notified whenever there is a new video, simply subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell. We value your attention and time in viewing this. For me, this is extremely significant. Thanks.